Scotiabank has reported a net income after tax of 604 million for the year ended 31st October 2021, an increase of 83 million or 16 percent over 2020. Rishad Mohammed, the bank's chief financial officer, gave other insights into Scotia's performance during its AGM held earlier today. Our total revenue, which comprises net interest income and other income, was $1.7 billion, a decrease of $48 million or 3% per year. For 2021, net interest income decreased by $94 million or 7% to $1.2 billion. Interest income from loans represents 90% of the total net interest income and declined by $110 million or 9% in 2021. According to Mr. Mohammed, this decline is as a result of the challenging economic environment. Other income was $511 million in 2021, an increase of $46 million or 10% over the previous year. Mr. Mohammed also notes that the bank's loan portfolio also saw a reduction. Loans to customers, the bank's largest interest-earning asset, closed the year at $15.7 billion, reflecting a reduction of $545 million or 3% compared to 2020 directly attributable to the subdued consumer and corporate commercial demand brought on by the impact of COVID-related restrictions for large parts of 2020 and 2021. The group's total assets, as at 31st October 2021, was $27.2 billion, a decrease of $333 million, or 1% below the prior year. An Indian company, Dabur International and MediChoice Medical and Diagnostics Limited, are seeking to offer a wide range of its products to the local market. Speaking at the launch of the event on Tuesday evening, Indian High Commissioner Arun Kumar Sahu gave some details. Ayurveda and herbal ingredients have been long used by people in the Indian subcontinent before the Western system of medicine made inroad during the colonial period. Today, Ayurveda offers an intelligent alternative for healthy living. Gisha Kaulasa Alonso, CNC3, Business Watch.